Hi YouTube, it's Chelsea from Tamper Sands Tail, and I'm just doing a dog product review today. Uh, this is Champ's new custom urban trail harness from Alpine Outfitters in California. Uh, standard features on this are double padded fleece along the webbing and uh, elastic keepers along the quick release snap and the slight adjustable girth. I got the non-adjustable version. They have one that does have more adjustability, uh, but I didn't want that because I believe it had two um, quick releases, one on each side over here too. So I went with the one. There's still a little bit to play with. Uh, even the back of this strap is fleece lined, so that's nice. Uh, standard also is the back D-ring. I went with yellow for the webbing, and I did that for Yellow Dog Project. I added the front clip D because I've been looking for something with both front and back so I didn't have to commit to just one. And this worked out really great for at the beach when I just took them on Monday um, since I could walk them on this. Uh, in the more crowded areas, and then when we were on the long line, I was able to just hook it up to the back one, which was more appropriate. I added this D-ring on the base of the neck so I could add a little tab if needed, or I was kind of thinking about making a little um, nylon length with two snaps for a handle when we're out and about. I don't know, I just wanted the extra D-ring. And then this side D-ring is for a bike attachment. And you can also have one put on this side or one on both, uh, whatever you want. Where I have in training, you can do your dog's name or phone number or whatnot. I decided to do this since it was kind of his yellow dog project harness. Um, but this is my pinky and I have small hands. So you can see it's not very big, so I don't know, kind of pointless for what I had. I might like come up with a way to put on like uh, Julius Canine labels, wraps or something on it. Um, anyways, so the fit, the head goes through here. It's not quite a Y front, but the way it fits is it, it still doesn't have a lot of pressure on his neck, which is nice. Um, I really liked it when we used it. Um, any pressure along the back here straightens this part out. I notice when I have it on the front or if it's just on him, it does tend to tent a little, but I think as he breaks it in, it will um, settle on his back more. And overall, just awesome quality with the uh, sewing. All of these D-rings, oh, let me see, that's a bad view. All of these D-rings are doubled. The black webbing is doubled from, let's see if I can, there. So the black webbing is doubled on top and bottom, like right here. So it's like really sturdy. And then they have a good, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you won't really, oh, there, you can kind of see in that light. Um, they do a box stitch with crosses in all of them. Sorry, the lighting is kind of difficult. And the elastic keepers were nice surprises. Let's see, what else? Oh, you can see back here, maybe you can see, is they do a cross stitch right here in their box stitch. Same with the bottom, they have this um, nylon keeper to keep the girth strap in place. And then this is what the front chest piece looks like. This was a little bit of, oh, I won't call it sloppiness. I mean, you have to do something with the thread. I understand that. It's just a little bit of funk yeah, along with hair. Um, no big cons for this harness, honestly. I really like the versatility of it and loved using it at the beach. I will say, I just noticed that... This D-ring and the front, which were the ones that I used at the beach, this one right here and then on the front, have a little bit of uh, corrosion. 
And I don't know if that was because of the salt water or what. Um, it's a little disappointing. I don't know if it was just bad choice of hardware or the salt water or what happened here. But I'm going to email them about it and see if it's a common issue. And I have no idea if they can even fix it. It took... Oh, that was the other con here. This was custom, and technically we're in their off-peak season. So on the website, or on the email they send for the confirmation email, they say it takes, you know, two to three weeks for delivery, or please allow that much time. During the peak season, it's um, four to six weeks delivery. So this being the non-peak season, I was kind of expecting it faster. I ended up getting it um, six to seven weeks after I ordered it. I was actually really patient uh, because we do have enough harnesses, but I was really excited to get it since it had like everything that I wanted on it. Um, I was happy when it came, but yeah, I don't know. I don't want to send this back for them to fix it, but if that's what they offer, obviously I don't want hardware that's rusting after the very first use. That's kind of lame. Um, yeah, so anyways, I will put this on champ so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to try to stay out of the camera because I'm a mess today. Um, bar prep is not a glamorous time of my life. So here's little man. Down here, set my camera up. Hi, boo. Come here, spawn your harness. Come on. Oh, he doesn't want to do anything with it. You can come over here. Yeah. Alright. I am going to bribe him because I don't have time to waste. I'm not going to edit this film as usual. So here, boo. Come here. Good. He really... He doesn't mind any harness. I don't know why he's being a boob for this. Here, champ. Come on. Come on. Here. Okay, kiddo. We're going to pause this just so I can get him up. Okay, I think he's... Here, stand. Good. <laughs> We're being a bum. Come here, kiddo. Here, stand. Come on. There you go. Good job. Oh, stretch it out. I think he was just comfy. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Um, I know you can't see any of this. I'll turn this a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty pointless, too. Just don't mind me. Um, I put it over his head and just bring a foot through. Okay, can you sit down? Sit. Oh, you're such a brat. He just wants to be over there. I don't think he wants to be on camera today. Sophie has been my harness model. Um... Yeah, so you can see how it kind of tense right there. And he's not going to get up. I think he's just, yeah, he's tired. Um, I will have some pictures posted, though, of him wearing this at the beach. So, anyways, um, sum it up. Love all the features that I could add. Love the color selection. The quality is awesome for their design and putting it together. The cons that I'm going to go with are the length of time that it took to get made and um, the hardware, which I didn't even realize was a problem before I started filming this. Because I just took it to the beach and he wore it for like four hours and then I brought it home and then I washed it just in... Um, 
in the shower with some like mild dog shampoo. So none of that should have had this effect. So anyways, I will give you guys an update to let you know what customer service says. So far they've been really great to work with. Um, and I, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.